What I'm about to show you is very early, very much still in development, but it is fascinating and offers a glimpse of the future when it comes to medical technology. I'm absolutely fascinated by this. It's called the Virob. Take a look at this. This is what we're talking about here. It is a little robot, about a millimeter in uh, diameter, 14 millimeters in length, and it can move into some of the smallest areas of the body. Uh, that, that's the Virob here. Uh, that's what it looks like on somebody's finger. Take a look at how it might move through a blood vessel over here. That's the little robot over there making its way through an animation of a blood vessel. Uh, again, this isn't something that's been done in human beings yet, but just imagine something like that coursing through your body, being able to take care of problems in your blood vessels, in your digestive tract, even in your lungs. The sort of things that it might be used for one day, well, take a look at this animation over here. This is the Virob. That's a chemo agent sort of being attached to the end of the robot, and then you take that robot and you put it into somebody's trachea, like this. Again, this tiny little robot making its way down <clears throat> into all the various airways, eventually finding a specific tumor. All of this done by remote control outside the body and take that thing and put it directly into the tumor and release all that chemotherapeutic agent. It is targeted therapy like we have never seen targeted therapy before. Again, uh, very much in development, very much still off, uh, off into the possible future here. And this is something that could take years still to develop, five to 10 years. It's gonna be expensive, uh, tens of thousands of dollars probably. But think about the possibilities here, clearing a, an infection in a shunt, for example, inserting a stent, delivering chemotherapy like this. They have a few kinks to work out. One of the things, they gotta figure out how to make this thing go backwards. Once they get it in forwards, how do you turn around and bring it out? Uh, these are some of the challenges they're still gonna have, but a glimpse of the future there when it comes to the world of medical technology. Back to you.